Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you in this daily Hindu analysis video. In the morning these videos come, in the evening PIB videos come. Both are crucial, both are having a very important set of data. And uh, you will see direct questions from these two important sources. 95% of the current affair questions, they uh, appear in the news, uh, in the question paper from these two sources only. So never miss any lesson, any detail. 30 minute lesson uh, is going to be for the Hindu from now on and 10 minute lesson is there for PIB. So both are important. And 30th, 13th of March it is and uh, let's see some data before that focus follow one course until successful you see when the conditions are like that in the end phase when uh, it is nearly sure that you are very close to your success and uh, very soon if you will be, remain consistent then you will get your uh, desired success at the same time maximum amount of anxiety that would come to you and maximum amount of distraction uh, would be there your focus would be disturbed again and again and that is the most challenging phase so anyhow focus this is the fight you will have to uh, take every day every day till the examination now because these are the uh, uh, last weeks when you are preparing for the most important uh, uh, phase of your career and your patience level and your cons consistent uh, hard work that is going to fetch you victory in this particular battle now these are the courses by study iq the updated upsc course is also launched you can call on these numbers and you can ask ask for all these important courses mcqs that i gave to you mcc model code of conduct as i told you it uh, comes into effect from the date the election schedule is announced and it will be in force until the date on which results are out so this is a perfect sentence that is okay but you see drawback is there that it is not there in the constitution it is not there any kind of uh, article where it is mentioned there is no article and there is no statutory backing also there is no act regarding that it is only a moral code by election commission of india so that's why only one is the correct answer here next crpf as i told you it is one of the seven important forces under centrally armed police forces they all work under the authority of ministry of home affairs not defense that's important so this statement would be wrong and second it used to guard the indian borders also but uh, after that border security force that was created and now it is the task of border security force so it no more guards india's borders and uh, in any specific situation it can be uh, deployed everywhere that's a different thing but normally it, it does not do that and it has played a major role in the india's uh, elections till now so that's perfectly correct as an answer because these paramilitary forces they are uh, deployed in uh, some uh, disturbed areas incredible india this program is going on since 2002 and since 2017 incredible india 2.0 the second version is going on where we had uh, made some shifts where uh, we are going with the new age advertisements and uh, some short films and all in nine languages these are well received by whole world and we have got the first prize in the international golden city gate tourism awards in germany itv germany so second statement is correct and first is wrong fourth university of peace was established in accordance with the resolution 3555 it was in news recently so this statement is correct in 1980 it was passed by general assembly but the main campus is not in new york it is there in costa rica you can see here uh, south to nicaragua north to panama and uh, this is south america this is mexico and north america and uh, these central american countries nicaragua honduras Guatemala, these are important caribbean sea is very important and the areas uh, nearby it gulf of mexico and uh, west indies area where uh, 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 these uh, active volcanoes are also there very dangerous volcano so this is the area of central americas and costa rica is the place where this university of peace is located next these are the words that i found today in these articles try them into sentences now about the articles briefly we are going to discuss this because important for gs paper one and two also because it is talking about the aspirations and the way we should uh, take some active steps whether it is about thinking about these issues or discussing about these issues and making plans regarding that and the kinds of uh, freedoms that we want today it is talking about that 
and uh, this is the most important one today regarding the official secrets act and its history so we are going to discuss this as gs paper 2 is important final showdown is it is regarding the isis and the future in this particular region so we are going to discuss this as gs paper 2 would be important and it is not important it's a political one and these things are not important for us it's an interview and uh, repeated things are there so next to serve the governed official secrets act it was imposed by britishers it came uh, here as official secrets act of 1923 but the actual root was there in 1920 when it was passed in british parliament after independence we should have abandoned this because we had seen the consequences of it we had uh, borne the uh, particular uh, impact of it and we knew that it is totally a misused phenomena and uh, no good government democratic government would want to use that but we never did that and we actually made it stricter in 1967 when indira gandhi government came so it was the starting phase of uh, trouble in politics and politics could never remain legitimate and uh, uh, honest the phase which came after that so it all started in 1960s the end of the 1960s and it is going on till now and all governments they all want to work in an authoritative manner they don't want any kind of questions and they don't want to hear anything against their deeds so that is why they want to maintain secrecy if anything that is coming as an exposure of their secret deeds then they want to impose this kind of restriction and this official secrets act is a kind of a limit crossing thing because it's a draconian law and uh, it is being imposed on this the hindu newspaper that we are reading every day and uh, what they are revealing they are actually producing these data in the public domain they are not stealing it they they have actually uh, published these things for the general public so that all these things can be transparent and as we have seen pricing can never be an issue pricing is never related with the security it doesn't matter that you you buy something uh, uh, for bigger price or a smaller price it is not having any kind of connection to the national security but you see the way they they are giving arguments and all and the way the official secrets act is being imposed here it's a problematic thing here the writer is quoting uh, aurangzeb's uh, one statement where he never wanted to listen to some disturbance and he was all content with his own ways so that is the thing now see when janta government came after the emergency period that was the only time when it was discussed and uh, the second press commission which uh, uh, was to be there and justice goswami was the chairman he said that it should be repealed immediately it's a draconian law and it has no place in our vibrant democracy and we have learned a lot and after that we made our constitution it does not hold any kind of value but you see the government in 1980 they actually uh, disbanded and dissolved the particular commission on only and after that they brought a different official second press commission and it was chaired by kk matthew and they never objected to this particular act and they did not recommend to repeal it so it became a problem and after that no government is ready to talk about it and now they are using it so in article 19 we are given these freedoms but you see it's totally against that it's totally against our expression and when something is in public domain and when it is done to expose some uh, dirty secrets then these should be welcomed by all but you see the problem is that we people are so blindfolded and they don't see any lag there and the way these smart politicians they have uh, distorted this matter in their favor so that is why even people are supporting these kind of moves by the government and these these are draconian uh, ways the way they are crushing the expression and it is actually for the public at large so that is a problem we have signed uh, iccpr international convention on civil and political rights it was adopted by general assembly in 1966 and it specifically includes the right to freedom of expression and defined as the freedom to seek receive and impart the information id and ideas of all kinds so that was needed and you see uh 
here the writer is praising the hindu for this bravery that they brought up this issue in public and uh, they uh, published these things and it is not necessary to reveal the source because the thing the intent that matters and the same thing is said by supreme court but now this official secrets act should go away as early as possible next the final showdown it is regarding the isis and its impact you see isis uh, is hardly having any kind of territorial dominance now when usa backed usa backed syrian democratic force and these uh, kurds fighters group they actually diminished the influence of these uh, isis group in this particular area kurdistan is a particular region that is uh, not a territorial region it's not a country it's a region where they claim that it should be a separate land for these kurds kurds as a ethnic group they are present in northwestern iran and northern iraq and uh, southeastern turkey and northern syria and they all claim this thing and here when isis uh, uh, captured all these cities of syria and uh, kurds they actually fought against these isis uh, group the terror groups and because of their help only it could be suppressed as soon as possible and usa bad kurds now when usa is withdrawing then kurds are gonna have some kind of power loss here because turkey is having uh, many many problems with these kurds group and turkey does not want them to be successful or powerful turkey has declared these kurds as terrorist groups and it's a very problematic thing for uh, these uh, concept of kurdistan and usa also because turkey is also uh, threatening usa that you uh, go away as soon as possible because it is our region and we cannot accept you any longer here but it's a very complex situation for usa also it uh, declared that it is going to withdraw all these forces but uh, out of 2000 they are uh, going to leave here 200 uh, uh, battalions so it's a complex situation for usa also but ultimately what is going to happen when usa is going to withdraw kurds are going to be suppressed by turkey and uh, these isis groups they are uh, not vanished from this area and you see still uh, there is a village ba- bagoz village here in this particular uh, boundary near iraq they are concentrated and you see they have major influence in this syrian desert area and in some other areas uh, as uh, if we talk about the laden era from 2006 to 2011 the al qaeda in this particular area that got converted into jabhat al nusra and this al nusra 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 group it got some kind of uh, uh, division here and out of uh, defection here from this al nusra the isis group that emerged so they have many avenues there they have many channels there and they have many hides there so this isis group is not ended and still it can reemerge in many areas and it can continue its terror activities in hidden manner the way these jaish e mohammed al uh, the lashkar e taiwan all they all are uh, inflicting pain on indian land so in the same way these isis groups they can execute their plans so this is well accepted phenomena this that isis is spread in many areas they don't have any territory today but they are not vanished from the existence so it's a problematic thing if usa is going to withdraw from here and kurds are no more going to be powerful then isis may reemerge very soon so it's a stuck situation between turkey kurdistan syria and usa and you see these uh, countries uh, uh, like uh, iraq and iran they may also have problem with uh, america iran is certainly going to have some issues all the kurds are uh, unwanted for uh, uh, some uh, countries here where they are claiming the land but the direct impact would be on the reemergence of isis so they need to manage the situation the turkish government of uh, president tayyip erdogan is very of the rapid rise of the syrian kurds who are organizationally and ideologically aligned with the kurdish rebels on the turkish sides 
so kurdish rebels are there and that is why it, uh, erdogan has declared these uh, rebels as terror groups okay so that's the situation and uh, remember this they may ask you about this particular question uh, in the prelims or in the mains in the mains you see it's a very genuine question they may ask you to explain the scenario here that who was supporting whom and which group was confronted by which the way uh, it is totally explicable here that isis as a group was confronted by kurd rebels so internationally the bigger goal was to suppress the isis group but regionally they are a problem for these countries like turkey so that's a very complex situation and the biggest issue is there with the civilians more than 50000 they fled from this particular area and 400 jihadis uh, jihadists they are concentrated now here and they are planning uh, many more activities there and they are surviving in many hides so it can be a problematic situation next in the paper you see the article in the pursuit of four freedoms what are four freedoms Neera Chandok is talking about freedom from fear the kind of uh, uh, ambience which is there today when some people are trying to impose something on you the monoculture in universities that is being imposed and these things are apparent these things are clear there is no question about it that some changes are happening and these are problematic and uh, these incidents like uh, when you are forced to say something when you are forced to stand up somewhere when you are forced to tell someone you are when you are forced to eat something specific and uh, when you are not supposed to eat something like that or when you are not supposed to say something uh, like that when you are not supposed to express some things like that so these are actually aiming to create some kind of uh, fear out of these genuine issues you see genuine issues Bharat Mata Ki Jai and uh, Vande Matram these are uh, genuine things nobody would deny nobody would say that I don't want to say uh, these lines but these are forced so force is actually the violation of article 21 and out of this force what is the aim the intent is to create this fear so that people would fear and when this thing these ideologies they are actually linked with a particular party with a particular group so ultimately the advantage would be the, uh, there with those people so this is how the psychology runs so the writer says that we need freedom from this particular thing and we also need freedom from want the misery the pain the poverty you see the condition of a poor farmer the condition of a poor uh, laborer he has no voice and all these uh, goons like people they are all uh, uh, going on with rallies uh, their uh, rhetorics and they are all happy no uh, fund crunches are there and the people who are in this age who are looters who are thieves who are smart enough to trick the system the people you see uh, the way Nirav Modi the case of Nirav Modi he is uh, roaming freely on the London streets so what kind of pain he is uh, having today what kind of punishment he has got he duped the public sector bank and the bank is in extreme pressure thousands of uh, uh, crores of rupees are lost and who is going to bear this uh, consequence we as a people we pay taxes but we cannot say something about that we cannot question these kind of things because that fear is there that fear is created before that so that nobody dares to talk about these things you see about this particular joke one party is saying that uh, uh, these are uh, period of uh, false promises one party says that uh, their name is synonymous with corruption some people are involved in some kind of uh, trading some kind of uh, horse trading then uh, some people are uh, as uh, the frame says that poaching the candidates of some other party means they are leaving that party they are coming to this party they are uh, leaving this party coming to that party and uh, all these parties are same this is not specific about some party all these parties are same you see this is the time when we need to evaluate we need to focus on these core issues and we need to think that in which way democracy is going on it is not about politics it is about democracy it is about our survival it is about our future it is about our development we need to think about that but are we able to think no because we are consistently disturbed every day in the evening from 6 to 10 these people are 
trained to disturb us every day with these prime time news debates they uh, are always ready with these provocating things with these uh, question mark having uh, provoking sentences and for 3 4 hours they are actually debilitating us because out of this confusion that remains after these debates and uh, the way any person is uh, remained perplexed after watching those debates with the boiling blood that person is not able to think when you are not able to, to think then you are debilitated and intentionally you are uh, debilitated so that you cannot think you cannot evaluate you cannot analyze the situation in a peaceful manner because our mind that can only work with peace but the peace is disturbed here that's very uh, a smart thing it's a tricky thing psychologically these people have uh, devised these ways to debilitate the common people so that they are not able to think and when the, uh, they are left confused then they would be bound to accept those things which these uh, leaders which these, these authorities they are imposing on us what they are trying to show us what they are trying to explain us that we will accept because we don't have any power of our own we are debilitated and we don't have our analyzing power so that's a game and we need a freedom from this particular uh, capturing also from this particular discrimination also you see today the most vulnerable groups in the history the dalits the dominant groups they are actually rising against these groups and out of politics they are uh, suppressed again like before and some uh, recent evidences are there some recent in incidences are there of these kind of suppressions and some uh, issues with the reservation you see the 13 point system and all all these uh, confusions uh, came although uh, they gave this argument that we are moving towards equality but that's a thing but what about this particular discrimination the discrimination economic discrimination and the social discrimination the caste based discrimination that is not ended and who is discussing about these things you see uh, yesterday only for 2 3 hours they shouted like hell and what was the issue that uh, leaders from both the parties both leading parties they uh, added some g uh, with the name of these terrorists send them behind the bars but why you are wasting the time of normal public why you are wasting the time you should discuss these core issues these core matters you sh we should move towards the development of the society we should talk about the caste system how we can eliminate it but have you seen any kind of debate there in this country no because these people are on a particular mission to debilitate the public to debilitate us and to destroy our analyzing power so we want freedom from that from that and that's our constitutional right in this particular uh, crucial time we need to be caring about those issues and we need freedom from sexual violence also whether uh, the victims are women or they are uh, now they are men transgenders also and children children especially it's a very scary time it's a kind of a crisis in india every page you have in uh, some uh, news regarding molestation child molestation child abuse or uh, some uh, uh, group of women or any girl she was molested she was raped and she was brutally murdered every day you hear these kind of in informations that's really really sad so we all need to think in a holistic manner where in this time goons thieves looters and smart people who are fooling others they are happy they are smiling they don't have any fun crunches and the people who are toiling farmers soldiers laborers and taxpayers who are uh, struggling every day to survive these people they don't have any voice so there is serious serious problem with the democracy and we need to discuss that so i gave you all this explanation because it's an extremely important issue of an essay there can be an essay on a democratic uh, situation of india so you may uh, put all these points okay next issue a uh, dgca the director general of civil aviation that has barred boeing 737 max 8 which was crashed in ethiopia and uh, after finding of this black box it was revealed that uh, uh, the uh, the pilot wanted to come back but it uh, became the second crash and uh, it was a new upgraded uh, plane boeing series of 7 737 max 8 series and that was important 
but uh, two crashes are there so all these countries they are now on a kind of alarm and uh, they have grounded their planes and these max 8737 boeing are not flying it's a american company boeing is american company and in 2017 january they started their flights so that's the issue next uh, dta for others a unsc listing and uh, the mood uh, which was uh, shown yesterday that china was having that we do not have any technical uh, uh, proof here that we would declare we would support the declaration of masood azhar as a global terrorist but here uh, the writer says that uh, there has been not much impact because hafiz said was declared as a terrorist 10 years back but uh, there is no restriction uh, we see on his movements on his uh, finances on his uh, terror activities so it's a difficult situation that what is going to happen but certainly the china's stand would be important because every time china has said that i don't have enough evidence and every time we have given many many evidences and there is no doubt about masood masood azhar being a global terrorist he was uh, uh, traded uh, during the kandhar plane hijack incident and because he was a dreaded terrorist that is why they demanded his freedom so these are the issues next jatra festival jatra festival is actually a very important festival it's a, actually a folk theater in bengali culture and this particular information is regarding thakurani jatra it is a 32 days festival in odisha and the place is bahrampur bahrampur is the silk city uh, of odisha so it is celebrated there for one month this will go on and uh, this is Thakurani Jatra, a specific Jatra, not the normal Jatra of Bengal, but the relation is there with the Bengali culture only. As I told you, DGCA, Director General of Civil Aviation, bars Boeing 737 MAX 8 after global alarm. Next, IIP growth. IIP index released by Central Statistical Organization every month. They uh, bring these data and uh, if you talk about uh, uh, this particular month maybe it is the data for march then it will be released two three months after that because some period is needed and uh, the realistic data is uh, appeared after three to four months so it's a temporary measure it's a temporary data the main uh, collection of uh, information of the industrial output is the annual survey of industries an annual survey of industries is also done by this same ministry ministry of statistics and program implementation and cs office that also comes under this particular ministry so annual survey of industry uh, data it is an annual survey as the name suggests and the data is based on some acts but cso's data uh, in this iip index that is taken from various ministries so till the time ASI data appears, CSO is a major help and uh, you all you should always remember here the core 8 industries uh, where 40% uh, weightage is there with these core industries. Okay, so these things are important and uh, they are giving information about the manufacturing and mainly the industrial production of India and that is uh, certainly for a decline consistently because it is the election time so all these speculations are going on investments are on a decline because of uncertainties of the government so these things will go on till the appearance of the next government okay so uh, this is the thing inflation is a declining and uh, manufacturing growth rate to 1.3 percent in january from 2.65 percent in december okay but uh, you, you see there is a base year 2011 12 is the base year for iip index and they may uh, give growth according to that base year or they may give a respective growth uh, from the last month or from the last year so that depends next biodiversity rich zones are hotspots for human impact you see what are biodiversity hotspots biodiversity hotspots are when uh, in some particular area if endemic species which are found uh, mainly in that particular area or the biodiversity of that area that is threatened and habitat loss is there and uh, temperature climate conditions are changing forest area is uh, diminishing so this area can become very very sensitive so it is called biodiversity hotspot because the threat is there sometimes in some areas 
habitat is intact that is not affected much and some threatened species still survive in that particular area although the surrounding area that is vulnerable and uh, there the loss of biodiversity is happening but in this particular area it is not happening so it will be called a cool spot just opposite to biodiversity hotspot but the common thing is that both are having threatened species here also threatened species are there but here also but here they are safe here they are threatened totally threatened so biodiversity hotspots and uh, human intervention is the major major reason here and uh, it is seen you see uh, it is releasing a particular data and out of 125 countries india is uh, at 16th rank and 35 threatened species are there on average which are uh, having a part of uh, this uh, biodiversity hotspot so india is at 16th and uh, cool spots are also recognized here and it is the report of plos biology okay 84 percent of the earth's surface is impacted by human intervention so this can be a very important uh, information for the means answer writing and the essay writing next india's newest frog that was recently uh, discovered astrobatricus kurichiana kurichiana name is given according to the kurichia tribe which is found in the western ghat area of vayanad forest reserve you see when uh, kerala's uh, sorry kerala's boundary is there here it is uh, tamil nadu and here it is bangalore uh, sorry uh, karnataka so karnataka tamil nadu and uh, this kerala in this particular region where the, these three states are meeting this is a very very important area many protected areas are there vainath forest agastya malai mudubalai uh, ranges and all and uh, very sensitive area of western ghats okay and most of these species they are found in this particular region okay silent valley national park is there in kerala and uh, uh, these uh, long tailed macaque and uh, nilgiri tar and all these important uh, uh, species which are protected in the western ghat region only this is the southern region cardamom hills are there at the end and uh, these are palni hills here uh, uh, this is uh, nilgiri hills and nilgiris are actually a joint of western ghat and eastern ghat okay so you should remember this thing and you should uh, look for the map also this is the situation that i explained with the isis and uh, the way these people are displaced and one more issue is going on where some people who went there to fight for isis and they want to come back their families are extremely troubled what is the future for these families that is being discussed recently one uh, kid died because her mother she went to fight for isis in syria so uh, these issues are really sensitive on the uh, humanitarian uh, uh, ground these things are really problematic and uh, organizations like human rights commission they are taking address of it so that is the thing i'm sorry for this uh, disturbance uh, something is going on in my locality so now these are mcqs try their answers and all related information would be extremely important i have uh, created these mcqs myself and out of my experience i am finding those crucial data which will be direct and exact in the prelims this year okay so all questions all informations are important never leave anything uh, in these hindu analysis videos and the pib videos daily thanks a lot keep watching pdf you will get uh, here on this particular group and the link to my telegram channel you will also find here thanks a lot